good morning everyone what we were uh, discussing yesterday was inequality and discrimination uh, we were uh, discussing the various causes which lead to the discrimination the reasons for uh, discrimination the reason for uh, unequal treatment uh, given to the people and uh, the most important reason uh, behind this uh, discrimination is uh, uh, diversity what happens when uh, people uh, belong to different uh, linguistic group they talk uh, a certain language and the same people who are talking who are uh, speaking a certain language they also uh, following a uh, different religion also a particular religion or a different religion and they live in a specific reason what happens that such people uh, are discriminated against because um, it is uh, the thinking of uh, other people that uh, um, their customs or practices are inferior so uh, what happens that uh, diversity becomes the cause of discrimination because people with different language people with different religion are considered uh, inferior why they are considered inferior because it is considered it is um, thought that their customs or practices are inferior and because of this thinking uh, people start discriminating against uh, such people so uh, in the previous chapter, we have uh, seen the story of Samir Ek and Samir Do. Uh, they belong to different religion, isn't it? And that uh, difference in religion, that diversity um, becomes a reason of uh, discrimination. There is another reason for uh, discrimination and this is the economic condition. In that story also, we found that uh, both Samir Ek and Samir Do, um, their economic condition was different from each other. Uh, while Samir Ek was, um, uh, was uh, belonging to a rich family, whereas Samir Do was poor. And uh, we have also read in that chapter also, uh, in that chapter only, that uh, uh, the economic uh, uh, difference the difference of being rich and poor is not a form of diversity. It's not diversity that some are rich and some are poor. But it is a form of inequality. Okay. So, uh, this that also what we find that the people who uh, don't have money, who are poor, they are um, behaved in a... Um, negative manner by the society. The society gives more importance to uh, those people who have money. Uh, society um, behaves in a positive manner with those people who are rich and the people who have less money or those who have uh, no money, they are behaved in a very uh, bad manner. So, this is also a kind of discrimination which a person faces because of his economic condition. So, that also becomes a reason of uh, discrimination. So, what are we discussing? We are discussing the causes of discrimination. Why people discriminate um, among the people? The first reason is diversity. It is considered that people who... Uh, speak a certain language, who follow a particular religion and live in a specific reason, um, those, uh, those people's customs or practices are inferior. It is considered by other people and that is the reason they behave in a um, discriminate, they behave with them uh, unequally. And then the second reason is economic differences. So, uh, I am here. Now I'm reading the text, the last paragraph of uh, this page. Okay. Another difference between the two Samirs was in their economic background. Samir though was poor. This difference as you have read earlier is not a form of diversity but 
of inequality. So, uh, um, people who are poor do not have the resources or the money to meet their basic needs of food, clothing and shelter. They experience discrimination in offices and hospitals, schools, etc. where they are treated bad, badly because they are poor. So, uh, our society mm, uh, runs on uh, some uh, unwritten, untold uh, principles and one of uh, such untold and unwritten principle is that uh, the person who is rich is uh, treated in a very good manner because he is rich but the person who is bad he is treated uh, by the society at public places what we find that those persons who don't have money are treated badly so uh, this also become one of the reason for the uh, discrimination you uh, may be uh, experiencing such type of uh, discrimination uh, whenever you go out you can see there are many people uh, um, by their look you can understand that they are um, poor people uh, like beggars and uh, what happens no one uh, treats uh, beggars in a respectable manner everyone um, scold them and say bad things about them so what is this this is uh, um, the, uh, discrimination because of economic status okay so no, don't only consider the beggars beggars are begging they are uh, asking for money that's why people are saying bad things about them uh, anytime you may have experienced this that uh, whenever there is, a, um, if you are in a shop, suppose you are in a grocery shop, and what happens that uh, a very rich person come in that shop, and then what will happen that uh, the shopkeeper will uh, uh, first pay attention to that rich person. First of all, uh, he won't uh, think about other customers. His uh, first focus will be the uh, rich person. Why? because he wants to make him satisfied he wants to appease him so that uh, uh, whenever uh, there is a need of anything in his house regarding grocery that person will come to his shop only and uh, obviously the person who are uh, rich their uh, needs of grocery is greater than the person who are poor so in this way um, the society uh, runs and uh, we see that uh, discrimination is done on the basis of economic status so now what we find that uh, i'm just uh, reading the text first and then i will explain it some people may experience both kinds of discrimination they are poor and they belong to groups whose culture is not valued tribals some religious groups and even particular reasons are discriminated against for one or more of these reasons. In the following section, we will look at how a famous Indian was discriminated against. This will help us understand the ways in which caste was used to discriminate against a large number of people. So, what happens that we are, uh, up till now, we have uh, um, discussed about the causes of discri discrimination and there are two uh, major causes of uh, discrimination the one is uh, uh, diversity because of uh, uh, different uh, cultural group because of being in different cultural group because of being in different religious community many times uh, what happens that uh, their uh, practices uh, or methods are considered inferior and they are discriminated against but uh, and the second reason was the economic uh, um, condition if a person is poor then he will also be discriminated against now what we find there are some people in the society in our society there are uh, many people not some people we can say actually there are many people who um, experience both kind of discrimination they are poor because uh, they don't have any um, resources, they, uh, their economic condition is not good, they are poor. But uh, and, and this is not the only thing. They are also have, uh, um, they are, they are uh, belonging to that uh, cultural group 
or they are belonging to that religious community or they are believe um, they are belonging to that linguistic community uh, which is considered less valued which is considered inferior okay to ab kya ho raha hai ki uh, uh, single person is um, getting discriminated against because of two reason the first reason is his economic condition and the second reason is his uh, different cultural uh, group kyunki wo different cultural group ko belong karta hai and us cultural group ya linguistic group bhi linguistic group kya hua jo language hum bolte hain that is on that basis on the basis of language jo groups bante hain jaise marathi punjabi telugu tamil these are लिंग्विस्टिक ग्रुप्स ठीक है तो जो डिफरेंट लिंग्विस्टिक ग्रुप को वो बिलोंग कर रहे हैं या डिफरेंट रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी क्या हुआ हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियनिटी जैन पारसी ऑल दीज आर रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी तो वो अगर डिफरेंट रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी को बिलोंग कर रहे हैं या कल्चरल uh, कम्युनिटी को या लिंग्विस्टिक कम्युनिटी को बिलोंग कर रहे हैं और ऐसा माना जाता है कि जिस कम्युनिटी को रिलीजियस या लिंग्विस्टिक कम्युनिटी को जो वो बिलोंग कर रहे हैं उसको उसके प्रैक्टिसेस को इन्फीरियर मतलब कि वो आ, बराबर का नहीं है बल्कि उसके जो प्रैक्टिसेस हैं वो नीचे स्तर के माने जाते हैं ठीक है तो इसमें क्या हो रहा है उनको डबल दोहरी मार पड़ रही है एक तो पैसे की वो गरीब है और दूसरा उनकी जो डिफरेंट कल्चर है उसके कारण तो इस कारण उनकी कंडीशन बहुत ही खराब हो जाती है और ये कंडीशन हमारे कंट्री में कौन फेस करते हैं द कंडीशन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडीशन इज फेस्ड इन आर कंट्री बाय ट्राइबल्स देन सम रिलीजियस ग्रुप्स आर आल्सो देयर एंड पीपल बिलोंगिंग टू सम पर्टिकुलर रीजन देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिलीजियन एंड रीजन डोंट कंफ्यूज ओके रिलीजियन मतलब क्या हुआ धर्म समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू गॉड एंड गॉडेसेज एंड गॉडशिप एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स जो हमारा धर्म होता है हिंदू मुस्लिम मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई दिस दीज आर डिफरेंट रिलीजियंस एंड द सेकेंड वन इज रीजन सो वॉट इज रीजन रीजन इज एरियाज जैसे कि नॉर्दर्न रीजन हुआ नॉर्दर्न रीजन में क्या आए उत्तर प्रदेश पंजाब दिल्ली ऑल दीज आर नॉर्दर्न रीजन देन हुए तमिल रीजन जहाँ पे तमिल बोलने वाले लोग रहते हैं तमिलनाडु ठीक है तो रीजन आर दो एरियाज ठीक है तो और रिलीजन इज समथिंग रिलेटेड विथ आर धर्म ठीक है तो ये दीज आर द ग्राउंड दीज आर द पीपल हु आर फेसिंग two types of discrimination the first discrimination they they are facing because of their um, poverty and the second type of discrimination they are uh, facing because of their uh, culture or religion or um, language or reason okay so uh, this is the condition now uh, we will see in the box what is uh, what information is given and uh, you can see this is the picture of uh, Uh, girl child who belong to a particular religious community that is muslim community and they are studying isn't it now we will uh, have a um, look on this uh, information which is given in the box a common stereotype about some muslims is that they are not interested in educating girls and therefore do not send girls to school so uh, there is a stereotype we are uh, we have uh, created a uh, image about the muslim community that uh, the people who belong to muslim religion they uh, don't want their girls to be educated and because of this because they don't want their girls to be educated they so they don't send their girls to school this is a stereotype it means we have created this image about the muslim community this is not true 
okay always remember whenever we are talking about a stereotype it means that the society has created this type of image okay this is the thinking of society it may be true it may not be true we can't say that stereotypes are always true or, or always wrong sometimes uh, some members may be like that but all we cannot say uh, this about uh, all the members of a community so this is a stereotype that they are not muslim community is not uh, interested in educating girls and they do not send their girls to school so uh this is a stereotype but what we find that um, government uh, from time to time um, do various type of uh, studies uh, regarding various communities so that uh, whatever uh, development in a particular community is taking place the government should be aware of uh, all those development uh, um, and uh, by becoming aware of uh, the developments of a particular community government can uh, start a new policy government can make new rules uh, regarding um, that community so that they can uh, be developed so what happens that uh, in the, in such type of studies um, what we find is that poverty amongst muslim is an important reason why muslim girls do not attend school or drop out from schools after a few years it is uh, uh, it came to uh, the light that uh, uh, if there is uh, less uh, muslim girls who are attending school or uh, they drop out from school after a few years of schooling the reason behind this is um, that uh, um, they are poor the poverty is the most important reason uh for the muslims for not sending their girls to school or dropping out uh, their girls from school after a few years okay so it's not ki uh, they are not interested in educating girls they want to educate their girls they want to send their girls to school but they uh, poverty is uh, is a problem uh, among the muslim community and because of this poverty they are not able to send their girls to school now i am here wherever effort has been made to reach education to the poor there the muslim community has shown an interest in sending their girls to school if uh, what we find if the government has uh, uh, made an effort uh, so that more and more people belonging to poorer section of the society uh, can send their uh, daughters or sons to the school uh, um, we find that muslim community has shown interest they are uh, uh, interested in sending their girls to a school if the government is uh, providing various type of facilities example is given there for example in the state of kerala the distance between the school and the home is not much it means what the school is not very far away from the house and what happens when the school is very far away from the house then parents are afraid of sending their uh, daughters to a far away place they want that their daughters should um, be uh, taught in a neighborhood school and when the the school is available in the neighborhood what happens there that they want to send their school, daughters to the school okay now this is the line there is a good government bus service that helps teachers reach school in rural areas and over 60% of the teachers are women we are talking about kerala in kerala what uh, is the condition that the government bus service is uh, very good and teachers uh, reach school uh, by buses only and what is the most important thing is that uh, over 60% of the teachers are women so uh, parents feel secure when they send their uh, daughters in a uh, neighborhood school they feel secure when they know that uh, in the school there are um, more female teachers than 
male teachers it gives them a sense of security so uh, these factors have helped children from poorer families including muslim girls attend school in much larger numbers so because of these reasons um, what we find that in kerala uh, children belonging to poorer families children belonging to poor muslim families also uh, attending school especially the muslim girls they are also attending school in much larger number okay in other state where such efforts have not been made children from poorer families whether muslim tribal or so called lower caste find it difficult to attend school therefore poverty not therefore poverty not religion is the cause for non attendance of muslim girls in school so we can say that uh, if uh, in kerala the government is providing so much facilities that uh, schools are uh, there are many number of schools present in the villages because of which uh, the parents don't have to send their daughters to a far away school then um, their um, uh, women uh, fem female teachers are um, more than 60% of the uh, total um, strength of the teachers uh, and because of these what happens that uh, parents feel secure to send their daughters to the school and in other state we find that uh, government has not made such attempts and because of uh, um, this uh, uh, what happened that uh, uh, people belonging to poorer se uh, section beat muslim tribal or uh, so called lower caste uh, none of them find uh, none of them want to send their daughters to attend a school which is uh, situated at a far away place the first thing is insecurity then there will be a uh, monetary uh, problem also they have to spend some money on the transportation also that will also a cause of uh, trouble so um, poverty is the reason for not sending girls to the school okay so this is the uh, the story stereotype which says that uh, muslims um, are not interested in educating girls this stereotype is not uh, correct it is the reason uh, religion has nothing to do with education it is the problem of poverty which is uh, obstructing the path of education okay now uh, we are here on being discriminated against okay people are engaged in different kinds of work like teaching carpentry pottery weaving fishing farming etc to earn a livelihood we all are knowing this that uh, we all do some or the other work in order to earn a livelihood if we don't uh, work then what will happen we won't be able to earn a livelihood and our life will become very bad so uh, we do something in order to earn money okay now in our society what happens that certain kinds of work are valued more than others some uh, some work are considered inferior some works are considered superior uh, um, works work of a teacher work of a um, pandit work of a doctor uh, these all are considered a very superior work but some uh, work like cleaning washing cutting hair packing garbage picking garbage and um, these type of work are seen as um, inferior task and the people who do these work the pe people who uh, do cleaning washing cutting hair or picking garbage these people are uh, considered uh, as a people of less value okay and they are seen as dirty or impure because they uh, their work is considered inferior and so they are considered dirty or impure impure and this belief is an important aspect of the caste system uh, i uh, told you in the previous class now that in our society um, the caste system was prevailing and this caste system was known as varna system and in this varna system i told you there were four varnas 
Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaisya and Sudras. So the same thing is explained here. In the caste system, I am here. In the caste system, communities, group of people were placed in a short of ladder where each caste was either above or below the other. So what is caste system? It is, I told you, na, it is uh, um, hierarchical. It means uh, um, people uh, belonging to different caste were placed in a sort of ladder where each caste was either above or below the other. Two castes are not equal to each other. Ya to ek caste kisi dusri caste ke upar hoga ya uske niche hoga. Jaise ladder mein hote hain, jo different ladder ke uh, steps hote hain, wo ek saath they are not equal. Ya to ek upar hota hai, ek niche hota hai. Hai na? So, uh, in this uh, system of ladder, what we find that uh, those who place themselves at the top of this ladder call themselves upper caste. Who are the upper caste people? Who are uh, who have placed themselves? उन्होंने अपने आप को place किया है. God has not placed them. Always remember these things. Uh, the people who consider who call themselves upper caste, these people have placed themselves at the top of the ladder. Okay. Uh, the whole system is created, the Varna system about which we are talking is created by this upper caste people only. And because they are uh, creating these uh, system for the whole society, they put themselves on the top of the ladder. Okay. And they consider themselves as superior. And the group who were placed at the bottom of the ladder were seen as unworthy and called untouchables. And in this ladder, uh, the that group which is uh, placed at the bottom, the lowest um, level, hello, they are very unworthy people. They are uh, an inferior people and they were called untouchables. It means... Uh, no one should touch them. They should be uh, untouchables. So, in the um, ladder, the upper caste is at the top of the ladder and the lower caste, uh, so-called lower caste, is at the bottom of the ladders. Okay, ladder. So, uh, um, in this uh, box, uh, some information regarding this, uh, these untouchables uh, is given. I am reading this for you. Dalit is a term that people belonging to so-called lower caste use to address themselves. Uh, the word which is, uh, which was, uh, which uh, the word which uh, used to be, uh, used to be, um, the word which was used for uh, these uh, lower caste uh, of the society was untouchable. But uh, it was the condition before independence. Before independence, uh, these people were known as untouchable, achut. In Hindi, we call them achut. And uh, um, after independence, what happened? The people belonging to uh, this uh, uh, lower caste, so-called lower caste, they uh, started a new uh, term, Dalit. Okay. Uh, they prefer this word to untouchable. They don't like the word untouchable. Instead of untouchable, they prefer to be called Dalit. Dalit means broken. Jiska dalan kar diya gaya ho. In Hindi, uh, we say Dalit is a Hindi word. And in Dalit, it means, uh, and Hindi, Dalit means jiska dalan kar diya gaya ho. Jisko, jisko, uh, कुचल दिया गया हो जिसे तोड़ दिया गया हो ठीक है तो इस सोसाइटी के जो अपर कास्ट के पीपल थे दोस अपर कास्ट पीपल हैव ब्रोकन द दलित्स ठीक है दिस वर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू दलित सोस हाउ सोशल प्रीजुडिसेस एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हैव ब्रोकन द दलित पीपल दे दिस प्रीजुडिसेस दिस एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दिस कास्ट सिस्टम डिड नॉट अलाउ द दलित पीपल to uh, grow in a proper manner. These uh, uh, Varna system has broken the people belonging to uh, Dalit community. So they prefer to call themselves 
Dalit. And uh, the government uh, referred to this group of people as scheduled caste. You must have uh, heard SC. This is scheduled caste. And in the records uh, of government, um, the so-called lower caste of the people uh, earlier who were known as the uh, who were known as untouchables and uh, who uh, at present they are known as the lids in government um, the government refers this group as a scheduled caste sc okay this is the scheduled caste okay and this is the uh, untouchables and this is Dalit. And what is the meaning of Dalit? Dalit means broken. Okay. So now your uh, class is uh, complete today and we will meet tomorrow.